made 2,000 cards of me for you. <laughs> Peyton's unbelievable. I had purchased his card collection and someone who works with him had told me a couple months ago that he was the underbidder on this collection. And this was, a, it's 2,000 cards. If he wants, I can sell some of the cards back to him. I can give him some, like, and they're like, no, no, it's funny. He just wanted, you know, he, he thought it was interesting that you bought it. And we came up with this idea to create 2,000 cards of me, which is a little bit embarrassing. And it actually says on top, it says, owner of the largest, of the world's largest Peyton Manning trading card collection. And then, so then we had to figure out the right way to let, to give it to him um, on stage. We took a, did a whole photo shoot of all the cards at my house. And um, I just posted that to my Instagram as I was going on stage. We had this conversation about it and I stopped in midstream. I said, you know, I actually have a present for you. We have a, a box, it's a big box. It doesn't quite hold 2,000 cards. But what we did was, because your cards are massively undervalued, right? So I can't really <laughs> give them to you. But we made 2,000 cards of me for you. <laughs> Uh, I brought 20 cards for your son. Oh, wow. Of actually, from the collection, oh. that we found 20 cool cards for your son. That's awesome. That's awesome. Thank you very much. That's if great. You want any cards of me? Appreciate it. Have I do. I want that. I want that set. There's, there's, there's 18, 18 that are numbered, right? So here's 18 of 18 for you. That's what I want. And the look on his face, you, it was awesome. He was, he was so happy. And uh, I talked to him afterwards. And I said, you know, we were a little bit worried about it. And we weren't sure. And he's like, oh, I would have been upset if you didn't do it. He was, he was awesome. He's as professional and as personable and as nice of a guy as he appears on TV.